Okay, here we go. Do do do. All right. Am I recording? Yes, recording. Okay, good. All right. Hello, Douglas. This is the Goes Station, and it's got a mighty tripod and um, probably some various spiders. Probably not friendly, but my daughter says they're false widows. Okay, so we have power here. Do 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 do. Goes over there. Okay. Oh yes, we have an art project. And that's Paul. <laughs> Hello, Paul. Okay, art project and a dish box. Okay. All right, go ahead and open it up, Paul. And I will. Oh look. Huh, look what I found. Construction debris. All right, put it in my pocket. All right. Do do do. Okay, well, here's the feed, which came with the dish, and the dish is like one point, I think it's 1.7 gig, it's like as close as I could possibly get to the goes down link, and that's how it fits on top of the mast, so all very, very standard, ordinary stuff, and, so, uh, oh, yeah, go ahead. This box is originally all plastic. And completely sealed. It has an O ring around the, the joint here, and it got way too hot inside. So I cut a hole in the in this front and mounted this heavy aluminum plate. Everything is now heat sunk to that. But once we get it open, I'll be able to show you that. Okay. Curvy. The screwdriver is barely big enough. Okay. Here, I'll show you my weather station too. All right. Here is the weather station and a chessboard and a fallen soldiers. Okay, but yeah, just a standard, somewhat ordinary, um, you know, weather station, Davis weather station. Because, you know, got to keep track of all those days where it's 76 and clear. And more of the art. This is Ellen B on a stick over here. So, Kind of yet another case of the Raspberry Pi plus S uh, RTL SDR, uh, and it's just a bare LNB oh, at the top. Oh yeah, that's sorry, that's the Odroid, correct? Yeah, we used an Odroid for this one, and it originally was connected up to SDR.hu with a WebX or WebRX, Web S Web SDRRX, uh, that project by the PhD student which only recently got shut down. Anyway, that's the sort of the standard Raspberry Pi. And this is the Satnogs station in progress and HF uh, vertical. And I've got a two meter vertical over there next to all of those solar power cells. Okay, here we are. Ready for the big reveal. Yes, yeah, so better be ready for the this big a, reveal. It's the first time I've opened it since I Oh, there's probably it, lots so of spiders in there. Let's... There shouldn't be any. It's supposed to be weather sealed. Oh, well, if there are spiders, then it wasn't weather sealed. You know, spiders can get in anywhere, though. There weren't even any spiders in it before. I think there's spiders. Oh, well, I'm wrong. Okay. So, Look at that. This is a Raspberry Pi in a, a passive thermal case. If you look in there on the top, you can see that there's a big dent. That goes down and actually touches the processor to pick up the, the heat. Ooh. And then the, ah. the case here is bolted directly to the aluminum plate through a hole in a plastic. Yep. Um, so that actually works amazingly well. The, yeah, I'll send them the chart. This little guy here is the RTL SDR uh, with a built-in soft filter for uh, goes. Yeah. And this plate is just to hold it down against the, the yeah, it's called heat a sink plate. Sawbird, I believe, is the, from Noelec. And it... It really does help. Well, actually, the the sawbird and the oh yeah, that that's the LNA. Yeah, that's the LNA and the uh, and the saw filter. Okay. These, yeah. These two boxes. Now, is this are, just have the RTL SDR and that has yeah. the bias T in it, right? Right. Okay. So the saw filters are in these little silver boxes. And then power distribution and yeah, this is an alternate way to power the, yeah. the saw, but the power comes through the coax along with the signal. Yeah. And then um, the backhaul. Want to talk about the backhaul a little bit? The backhaul is a Wi-Fi. Uh, this is why the pl box is plastic in the first place. Um, it goes down to my house, which is next door. Over there. Um, and 
the files that are collected are actually processed here on board to get Raspberry Pi. And then periodically, I think it's every 10 minutes, uh, an R-Sync job comes along and tries to move the cl collected files from here to a machine in my house. It doesn't always work, but it catches up eventually uh, on the next 10 minute cycle or the one after that or the one after that. <laughs> but usually it, it keeps up and it yeah. makes, well, we've got well over a terabyte of data since we put this in. Yeah, I'll send some. Cool. That's what we got. Awesome. All right, we'll button it back up and then I'll send this, send this to Douglas along with the other things that I mentioned.